Dear audience, you are kindly requested to be seated. We are in high spirits. And why not? A spectacular evening with a phenomenal audience just sums up for all the endeavors. Where talent weaves in the embrace of guidance, starlit sky and eyes gleaming, we celebrate this legacy together through the mist of smiles beaming. Yes, there's a lot to talk about. The euphoria and merry vibes can be well sensed in the environment. The cloud of commotion is about to drift away as the young energies will light up the heaven and beyond. As you take a break from this hustle culture, we ensure that this evening will be well spent. The lotus of aspirations is about to bloom. The saga of symphony is about to unfold. This is the tale of zeal and zest yet to be told. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Alchemy 2023, an evening of pure bliss, a testament to the enthusiasm and dedication of students and teachers. I, Ayushman Singh Bisht, with my friend Manaswini Pargai, stand on the threshold of an extravaganza of stars and glitters. With the blessings of our honorable chairperson, Madam Manju Shri Khaitan, we commence this lovely evening. We cordially welcome our distinguished guests who have been a constant source of optimism and inspiration. We are grateful to have our lovely parents who have shown unwavering support to us, as well as the members of local administration and media. For years, we have been marking our calendars a little early for this talent-studded show. Together, we create an environment where dreams are nurtured, skills are honed. From sculptures with amateur fingerprints, songs with perfect harmonies, dance routines that will make you want to hop on the dance floor and jam to the beats, these young wonders will leave an indelible mark on your souls. Now, I would like to request Vansh to please take over. Good evening, distinguished guests and the members of the school community. An annual report is a detailed archive reflecting over the school's annual achievements ranging from sports to co-curriculars and all the way to academics. It serves as a comprehensive overview of an institution's collective accomplishments and challenges faced in the holistic development of its students. May I now request our principal, Mr. Pindajit Singh Chima, to bring alive the glimpses of achievements this year. Sir, please. Good evening to all present. Honorable esteemed guest of honor, Dr. Chandra Shikarpant, scientist DRDO, dear parents, all dignitaries, members of teaching and non-teaching staff, and very dear children. I welcome each one of you to the annual cultural event of the school, Alchemy 2023. I am pleased to present the annual school report for the academic year 2023-24. School is known for its commitment to provide a platform which helps the young mind to blossom. The commitment becomes firmer as the academic session witnesses repositioning, restructuring, and refocus. Founders Day of the school was celebrated on 8th April by conducting social awareness activities around the city. The activities included street plays, poster designing, and doodling on social themes. The whole purpose of education is to turn mirror into windows. 
Achieving academic excellence is at the heart of endeavor of academic institutions. An important measure of this pursuit is how the institution has performed, the most important of which is annual school ending examinations conducted by the board. In the CBSE board examination 2023, 252 students appeared in class 10, 295 students appeared in class 12. Yashwardhan Singholia and Jigyasa Chupal scored 97.8% in class 10. 75 students from class 10 scored about 90%. In class 12, Divij Bansal from the science stream was the highest scorer with 98.6%. Twinkle Agarwal and Chitrakshi Aroda from the commerce stream scored 97.4%. Kiyasati from humanities scored 96.6%. 47 students in class 12th scored 90% and above. Children should be given a wider range of choices to learn new skills. Three more subjects, that is legal studies, engineering graphics, and mass media studies have been added in this session. ECA clubs like Spanish, film production, and coding continue to add fun during class hours. Skill module classes for classes 6, 7, and 8 were conducted on a fun-filled bagless day. Tell me and I forget. Teach me and I may remember. Involve me and I learn. School believes in providing real-world experiences for a balanced approach towards learning. Some of the highlights during this session include the summer camp held in the month of June, a wide range of activities included calligraphy, archery, radio jockey, Let Nation Color Dance Fest, print and restyling, 3D, 3D paper art and painting, animation, needlework, embroidery, and fireless cooking. Interactive sessions with alumni were conducted in the school, which included sessions with engineers, doctors, officers, young businessmen, and women. Children were overwhelmed meeting Ms. Dikshita Joshi, our 2013 batch pass out, and 58th rank holder in the UPSC examination. She is under training and would be joining IES soon. I am proud to share that one of our alumni, Mr. Jitesh Dharyal, a scientist at ISRO, was a part of the Chandrayaan-3 mission. To educate the young minds against cyberbullying, cybercrime, and for ethical use of social media, Cyber Club has been introduced in the school. Awareness sessions were conducted in the school under the guidance of commanding officer of Cyber Cell Haldwani. Regular orientation programs by the school counselors are conducted on health and wellness, hygiene, substance abuse, bullying, balanced diet, etc. Excursions and field trips are organized to help children gain first hand knowledge and augment their academic learning transactic beyond the confines of a classroom in joyful company of peer and friends. Students of classes 11 and 12 went for industry visits to Ashok Leyland, Tata Motors, Veterinary and Engineering Department at G.B. Pant University, Lok Kala Sangralye, Amar Ujala Publishing House, and DRDO. The students studying legal studies visited Nanital High Court and witnessed the proceedings. Picnics were organized for the primary and middle school. Community service has been a regular feature of the school in which children participated enthusiastically. Games and sports teach us how to lose, but also teach us how not to be a loser. The domain of sports has a vast potential to better the game of life itself. Sports play a significant role in instilling values among children that would hold them in good stead throughout. The school hosted several inter-school sports tournaments. This includes inter-school football tournament for boys and girls, in which 24 teams participated. 12 teams participated in the inter-school basketball tournament organized for girls and boys. In the CBAC North Zone Badminton Championship, the boys team backed the bronze medal and the girls team a silver medal. The girls' badminton team has also been selected for the National Badminton Championship to be held in Rajasthan from 9 December. Lavanya Joshi got a silver medal in the National Badminton Championship in Bangalore. Shore Yadav backed up gold medal in singles and doubles in the Open State Badminton Championship 
and has been selected for the National Badminton Tournament, which will be held in Odisha next week. The district level inter-school Taekwondo Championship was won by the school team. Chetika Joshi has been selected for the Honorable Chief Minister's Scholarship Program for Sports. I also take pride in announcing that Mr. Kamlesh Tiwari, Taekwondo coach of the school, won two gold and one bronze medal in the As a PhD in Propellant Chemistry from Defence Institute of Advanced Technology, Pune. He has worked in different capacities for the development of some strategic defence systems developed by DRDO. Presently, he is leading a research and development to create an expressive experience. It has been an integral part of human culture for thousands such as entertainment, storytelling and emotional expression. From rock anthems to soothing jazz tunes, music has the ability to connect with individuals on a deep and personal level. Love and music possess depth and serenity. So, ladies and gentlemen, join us to join us with an interesting performance presented to you by the students of classes 4, 5, 9 and 11. Bye. 
which is one of the chart toppers. The song's infectious energy and catchy melody will leave you all captivated and thrilled. Let us ignite the stage and give a warm welcome to our performers. Whatever that's lost on Mars You want me, I 
by every note and beat the upcoming song is one that is inspired by william shakespeare's play romeo and juliet it is none other than love story composed and sung by taylor swift it's a timeless anthem that resonates with many listeners no time for detours let's set the stage ablaze and greet our performers with enthusiasm
Martin Luther King Jr. had famously said, and I quote, We are not the makers of history. We are made by history. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I, Himani Pant, along with my co-host, Daksh Nanwal, welcome you aboard for a splendid journey through the seven wonders of the world. The seven wondrous dreams showcase the modernity in engineering techniques that existed even centuries ago, taking us to human ingenuity and marvel our voyage teleports us across continents, from the extreme lands of Mexico to the phenomenal India. For long, our school has demonstrated its legacy through the seamless conveyance of human emotions and artistry, transcending language. Well, Himani, can you guess which form of art this represents? Certainly, it's the spiritual and harmonious art of dance. Dance is the poetry of movement, where emotion... So, what would be more admirable than to showcase these seven wonders in the form of dance? The seven wonders of the world stand as testaments to human creativity. From the awe-inspiring pyramids of Giza to the majestic Great Wall of China, each wonder narrates a compelling story of cultural richness. The history of the seven wonders of the ancient world dates back to the 5th and 6th centuries BC. Over the centuries, some of the wonders were destroyed or damaged by natural disasters, wars, or human activities. Today, only the Great Pyramid of Giza remains standing, while the rest exists only in historical accounts and depictions. Nevertheless, these wonders, representing the remarkable achievements of the ancient civilizations, continue to inspire and fascinate us till date. Step into a world where rhythm and movements intertwine with the majesty of the seven marvels. These dance performances capture a captivating journey, translating the greatness of the seven wonders of the world into a mesmerizing choreography. Get ready to embark on a rhythmic exploration of contemporary wonders through the language of dance. Absolutely. The first one being the Great Wall of China. Built over centuries to protect against invasions, it remains a symbol of China's rich history of the Ming Dynasty. Beyond defense, it served as a symbol of China's strength and unity. The sheer size of the Great Wall, its historical significance and enduring legacy makes it an awe-inspiring marvel that continues to captivate people worldwide. So, to showcase the rich cultural heritage of China, we are delighted to present to you a mesmerizing performance by our young dancers of grade 4 and 5, who will take us on a fascinating journey through the art of Chinese fan and dragon dance. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes our first stop, the Great Wall of China.
Adorable, the little fire blazing dragons looked. Oh, I agree. My mind is still filled with the glimpses. And now, hola, como estas? Dear all, brace yourself for an exhilarating adventure to the enchanting land of Mexico, where wonders await at every step. With its rich history and vibrant culture, you'll never cease to be amazed. And let's not forget about one of the seven wonders of the world, the awe-inspiring Chichen Itza. This magnificent pre-Columbian city, built by the Mayan people, is steeped in mythology and is Mexico's one of most visited archaeological sites. Here, you'll discover incredible structures, such as the El Caracol Observatory, the Temple of the Warriors, the Grand Ball Court, and the Venus Platform, all built by the ingenious Mayans. Wow, the Mayans were truly ahead of their time. So buckle up and fasten your seat belts, because it's going to be a real bumpy ride.
That was a marvelous performance. Suvarna, let me quiz you on something. Do you know the greatest empire of pre-Columbian America? I know this one. It's the Incan Empire, isn't it? Absolutely correct. How did you know? Well, I'm quite interested in the history of the Incas. Did you know that they developed a remarkable network of roads and quite an elaborate system of aqueduct meandering through hills and valleys to bring water from the mountains? Huh, I didn't know all of that. However, my favorite is the Machu Picchu. Built the Machu Picchu is a 15th century Inca citadel. Most archaeologists believe that it was built as an estate for the Inca Emperor Pachacuti around the year 1450 and then abandoned a century later at the time of the Spanish conquest. It was only brought to international attention in 1911 by American historian Hiram Bingham. Now, let us travel to the great heights of the Incan civilization and enjoy the dance of Peru, the Valicha, with happiness and curiosity. we've just witnessed an exhilarating performance that brought us to the heart 
of Peru's rich cultural heritage. Now, let's initiate this quest to unravel a treasure nestled within the ancient lands of Southern Jordan and its majestic wonder, the city of Petra. Originally known to its inhabitants as Rakmo, Petra stands as a significant historical and archaeological city. For long, it was unrevealed until it was rediscovered in 1812. Often referred to as the Rose City because of the hue of its stones, Petra is renowned for its carved rock architecture and intricate water system. So tonight, we joyously invite our vibrant dancers of grade 6 and 7 for their exuberant dance performance, promising to carry us on a mesmerizing voyage to the mystical city of Petra. The desert rose of the seven wonders is calling on us. Beautiful Jordan, here, here we, we come. come.
That was truly a dazzling performance. Don't you think, Dakshita? Oh, surely, Janvi. I'm still getting the goosebumps. And now, welcome to Brazil, home to one of the most breathtaking monuments in the whole world, Christ the Redeemer. This colossal statue stands tall at 30 meters, excluding its 8-meter pedestal, making it the largest art deco style sculpture globally. With its arms stretching 28 meters wide, it's hard to fathom the sheer magnitude of this masterpiece made of reinforced concrete and sandstone. And that's not all. Not only is it a symbol of Christianity worldwide, but also a cultural icon of Rio de Janeiro at Brazil. No wonder that it was voted one of the seven wonders of the world. So what are you all waiting for? Pack all your bags and come see it for yourself. Because seeing really is believing. Next stop, Brazil. The performance captured the feeling of euphoria and excitement in the arena and has left all of us thrilled. Let us now 
cruise around the eternal city Rome in Italy and experience the epitome of the Roman Empire. Near the gelato and pizza shops, you'd find a sixth of the seven wonders, the Colosseum. The Colosseum, also known as the Flavian Amphitheater, is a marvel of Roman engineering. Built around 70 to 80 AD and remains the largest ancient stadium in the world. People from everywhere tend to visit here time and time again. Picture this. Gladiators ducking it out, wild animal showdowns and 50,000 cheering fans. Exploring its corridors and imagining the roar of the crowd is quite an experience. On that note, classes 6 to 8 will give you a tour around by the majestic dance performance. To set the stage on fire and wait no longer. Let us welcome our outstanding performers with a cheer getting louder and louder. That was a phenomenal performance. Italy has always been on my bucket list and now I'm even more eager to visit it. Our next destination is India, a land of many vendors known for its rich culture and heritage. It is also known for its diversely influenced architecture. The first thing that comes to our mind when we think of the Indian architecture 
is the great Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal is known the world over for its beautiful architecture, history, and tale of love that led to its creation. Located in the Indian city of Agra, the Taj Mahal was commissioned by Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan as a testament of love for his departed wife, Mumtaz Mahal. The mausoleum was built with ivory white marbles and precious stones. Today, let us immerse ourselves in the beauty of Taj, often referred to as poetry in stone, symbol of love, and a gleaming pearl in the crown of India's majestic architecture. No wonder it is a wonder. Vah Taj, Vah Taj. जित लगना चोरी दिखी है भाग में तेरे तो क्या सोना क्या जगना ओ सावते सुहा रंग सब के नसी Event. We would like to request our guest of honor, Dr. Chandrasekhar Pant, Scientist F, DRDO, to kindly share a few words of encouragement and boost the morale of the students. Your insights and perspective are highly valued. 
we believe your words would resonate deeply with our audience ladies and gentlemen let's give a huge round of applause to welcome our guest of honor to the stage so please shri uh, pindajit singh chima ji principal uh, birla school dignitaries uh, teachers school staff students their family members and each and everyone out here in this gathering a very good evening to you all first of all i'd like to congratulate uh, the entire uh, school family uh, for this annual day celebration i'm indeed privileged and honored to be here on this very important day of the school thank you school for uh, inviting me and having me here this evening just now we saw a grand show put up by students it was like a world tour in 30 minutes i really appreciate the way this school carries out uh, academic as well as uh, other activities i can say that because both my children are studying in this school i must thank the school and all the teachers here uh, for their dedication and sincere efforts because i because i come from a scientific department uh, i tell you that uh, india is doing uh, very good in uh, many areas of science and technology but still still it is not sufficient it is still not enough to meet our aspirations of new india if you want to see india in the forefront of science and technology many more uh, young students uh, should have a dream to pursue their career in Uh, research and development now scenario is changing uh, much more uh, investment and opportunities are coming in this field now uh, research and development is not uh, limited to uh, government departments it is uh, not even uh, the defense research and development is also not uh, still uh, not uh, uh, very limited to drdo it is now uh, opening up and uh, opened up for for the industries and many other agencies to work on so by the time our uh, upcoming students they are uh, uh, developing their skills they will find that lot of opportunities are there in research and developments also one message i'd like to give here to the students present here in coming few years uh, you will be entering into the real world you will be choosing your uh, area of work depending on your uh, your interest your skills and the opportunities available at that time whatever you do whatever area you work on always have a sense of patriotism and nation building uh, approach in your dealings this will definitely give you a lot of job satisfaction and mental peace which is very much needed at the same time it will uh, also motivate you to achieve much higher goals in your career you are the next generation we have lot of expectations from you your collective efforts towards uh, nation building uh, will definitely define the uh, further uh, directions of this country as well as our positions at the global stage i wish all students a very bright future आप अपने स्कूल का अपने क्षेत्र का और इस देश का 
मान बढ़ाएं नाम रोशन करें ये मेरी शुभकामनाएं हैं विद दिस आई कंक्लूड माई स्पीच थैंक यू वेरी मच नाउ मे आई रिक्वेस्ट आर प्रिंसिपल सर टू प्रेजेंट द टोकन ऑफ लव एंड ग्रेटिट्यूड टू आर गेस्ट ऑफ ऑनर thank you sir for accepting the token and i am sure that your words will surely help us strive for a better and a bright future moving on ladies and gentlemen can i ask you all a question What's common between Cholia, Harela, Ruskin Bond, and Burash? Yes, all these things quintessentially belong to Uttarakhand. You are certainly allured by these performances, but now it's the time to start looking inwards and know a little more about our own Dev Bhumi, which is no less beautiful than Switzerland, with the diversity of both scenery and culture. Rang rangili kumau meri. रंगीलो गढ़वाला यौ फूलों की घाटी यौ नौ कुचिया ताला उत्तराखंड इज लैंड ऑफ शिमरिंग माउंटेन्स डार्जिलिंग लेक्स स्टनिंग हाईलैंड एंड हॉस्पिटेबल पीपल आर स्टेट इज अ ब्लेंड ऑफ कल्चर्स एंड एथनिसिटीज फ्रॉम पौराणिक केदारखंड टू मॉडर्न उत्तराखंड आर लैंड इज ओवरफ्लोइंग विद रिचेस एंड नेचर्स बाउंटी डियर ऑडियंस Do you ever wonder how our state will look like in 2050? The pervasive use of Google and AI in today's generation often leads them to overlook the legacy, culture and historical epics like the Mahabharat. As technology dominates, the rich narrative of Mahabharat gets overshadowed. From the rugged terrains of Garhwal and Kumaon regions rise stories of resilience and courage. that are now an intrinsic part of our cultural fabric so today we are here to resurrect the pandavas from the mahabharat and unveil a connection of it all with our own dev bhumi where numerous places are believed to be associated with the epic offering a profound link between modern landscapes and ancient tales so put your hands together for the students of classes 4 to 11 who will surely leave you awestruck
Greetings, my dear audience. 2050. What a year to be alive. My name is Crackpot. The wow wow you must have heard. And my name is Topcat. In ancient Egypt, we were worshipped. I come from great history. Not like you, Crackpot. Sorry, it is our programming. We fight. Welcome to the History Museum of Uttarakhand. The year is 2050 and we are surviving on technology completely. Long live sacred tech. Oh, tech. Look at everyone. The children look thoroughly bored. They seem to be only on their phones. Oh, Google, it is so boring. Let me rest on this monk. Let me take a full scan of these circus people. Children, you can't do all this. Oh my, Google, they are moving. I am the mighty Bhima. I am not some monk. Otek! 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 Is that Waxman talking? Don't lose your calm. This is just a minor glitch. Right, Top Cat? This is our show. You can't be coming to life. Please follow the script, all of you. These ungrateful children called us a circus. We want Siachin. We are the brave hearts of Mother India. Am I dreaming? Or is this actually happening? I'm so sorry. We were disrespectful. Children, you come from the great land of Uttarakhand, Devabhumi. We are Gandhiji's precious monkeys. Show some respect. In the future, have we forgotten our culture? Our heritage? I gave my whole life for my art form. Has everyone forgotten about us? Have the machines taken over us? Will you all just pause? You can't make your own story. We are the narrators. We decide what happens next. You can't make up a new story. Why not? Krishna always says that we should choose our own path. Well said, brother. Will you all tell us about our ancestors and our history? Yes, my dear children. Through dances and through stories, we'll take you to our glorious past. Hooray! Hooray! Oh, Tech! Oh, oh, oh Tech! Let the madness begin!
This is the famous Mana village. This is considered the first step to heaven. We gave up our weapons here in this very village and left for heaven. Boring! Should I become a monk for you again? You might think we don't know anything about Mahabharata, but we do. It was the greatest epic ever. The war between brothers. The battle of good over Evil. We also know that as a child, Bhima would eat everyone's food. <laughs> Impressive, my children. Don't, Don't underestimate the Google generation. We want to see how all of you left for heaven. Please, please. Surely, children. Anything, Anything for, for you. you. The children can cannot be here. be here. Somebody, Somebody will see, see them. Hi, hi. Let us all live here. Good air, great water. Yes, dear. I think the oil of this era will suit us. The Satyug was truly a great time to be alive. Children, come. Let us see how we left for the heaven. Then we shall all go for some sattvic food. Just like Mother Kunti used to cook for us. Wow! wow.
hunt is basically heaven on earth. All this traveling has made me very hungry. Sorry children, we could not give you a taste of our sattvic food. All because of the gods. Such hurry, much wow. A herd of cattle was chasing us. And then we fell into a puddle. Good old Indian Rose! <laughs> right, right, my children. Take out your pill boxes. No nutritional value should be missed. The children who finish their pills fastest will get to go for a drive with me. And you, all ghosts of the past, stay away from them. Pills? Where is the food? Pulao, meve ki sabzi, malpua, swadisht pakwan kaha hai? Don't you worry, husband. I'll ask the children. Where is the food, children? This is the food. All you adults ate up our crops long time ago. The world in 2050 cannot sustain any crops. You all old people have ruined the lands so we survive on pills. I am sorry children. I wish we could have done something, but now it is too late. So all of you have never tasted real food. I can't stand by and watch children eat medicine for food. Are sunte ho! Don't get so angry. Otherwise, you will burn yourself. They never listen to us. Always running ahead, hot and spicy. You are my better half, Pao. Your soft nature has changed me. Children, you should eat good food. Uttarakhand, all throughout history, was also known for its delicious food. But don't you think we shouldn't be eating all this oil and masala? Google tells us all this food is toxic. Did someone call our food toxic? Hmm. Today's children don't know anything. I am the Yoga Baba and we changed the world with yoga. We have taught the whole world how to eat and stay healthy. Indian food is rich in all the nutrients our body needs and we are the inventor of yoga as well. We feed people and then make them do yoga. <laughs> Come, let me show you children. Yay! More entertainment! Yeah. 
Yes, my child. Uttarakhand is my Janmabhumi. My childhood was spent in these mountains. The stories that I collected as a child became the backbone for all the stories I created later in life. Wow! Can you share something with us? We heard you went to boarding school in Dehradun. Life was good, dear children. Good food good books and some really strict teachers. Once I had tried to run away from the school. It was a full-on plan, but the guard caught me last minute and I had to surrender. Wow! Wow! Rebellious Ruskin! Good to know! I have heard Nowadays, they have shopping malls and movie theatres on the moon. Yes, we have a house on Chandrayaan 50 landscape. Did you know, children, the Chandrayaan landed on the moon for the first time in the year 2023? It was a proud moment as an Indian and I was alive then. Wow! wow. Hello, everyone. Please do not look scared. I am a performer, like so many of us. As you can see, they don't really talk. They are also eager to show you their dance form. Folk dancers don't get their due credit, you see. A little history of Uttarakhand is also present in this dance form. Come, let us show you. Come, come, children, come.
children let us stick to the museum curriculum no more interruptions oh my god so many officers so many guns what do you want the children we want to talk to the children everyone is telling them about the glorious past we want them to know the great achievements of the kumau regiment wow you mean the bravest regiment that saved us from china for the longest time you guys were the bravest soldiers yes did you guys know we captured siachen and kept it safe your history is safe in our hands we will never forget you i have questions so many how dangerous was it how many officers gave up their lives when was it formed what did you guys eat one by one yes it was dangerous in 1962 six of our officers went ahead and attacked the chinese defense alone and captured their officers safely we were the first battalion of the 19th century in india we even fought in the first ever world war my child come let us show you our glorious past sacrifices shouldn't be forgotten
kind of dog do you think the Dracula had? A bloodhound. I am sure. You scared me. Cats come from the bloodline of predators. We don't get scared. Poor you. Bow wow, destiny. I am man's best friend. All the movies are made about us, not you. We are fun. You are stoic and sad. Oh, please. We were worshipped in the ancient world. I think I have won this conversation. But the best pet in the world goes to me. Crackpot the dog. Keep quiet and eat your food. Sorry, audience. They are programmed to fight. Balle balle, Amritsar to LA. Chole bhature, chole bhature. If they get a chance, then they'll keep buttering you, audience. I hope we were able to tell our story with honesty and flamboyance. Come back next year for more such stories. I fixed it. I fixed the glitch. Don't take all the credit. One of the wires were loose. I saw it. They became our friends. Why did you fix it? I did not even taste their food. Sorry. We need the glitch back. We are still here. Watching. Listening. And talking. Don't take this earth for granted. Let us become better people today so that our children can have a better future. Till then, keep missing us.
hearty greetings of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, I deem it an honor and privilege to propose the vote of thanks on behalf of the school management and the students. We would like to extend our heartfelt gratitude to our honorable chairperson, Madam Manju Shri Khatan, for providing us with an opportunity to showcase our talents. We express a sincere gratitude to our guest of honor, Dr. Chandrasekhar Pant from DRDO Haldwani for being a part of this event. We express a special thanks to the guests from the local administration, principals of the Hill Schools, and principals from the schools of the city. And a big thank you to the mentors from Swar Sangam Kolkata, whose contribution, commitment, and expertise enriched us all with great learning, everlasting joy, and fond memories. We express a sincere gratefulness to our most valued parents for their unflinching support and for adding immense value to this event. We appreciate the zeal and enthusiasm of the students and the volunteers. The logistic support provided by Bhara Tent House, Sargam Sound System, Vijay Lighthouse, Fire Services Halwani, Standard Sweet House for providing delicious snacks, and Ujala Cygnus Central Hospital for providing first aid services is duly recognized and well appreciated. We express a very special thanks to all our didis and bhaiyas for being of great help throughout the preparation and the presentation of this marvelous extravaganza. We also owe a thank you to Mr. Rajul Tiwari for providing special parking services. Once again, thank you all for your time and patience. Excellence is not a destination, but a journey. And we would continue to strive for excellence. And we believe that with your love and support, we would continue to enjoy each and every moment of this beautiful journey to create a better world and society. Thank you. May I now kindly request each one of you to rise for the national anthem. 